former deputy president of the Senate, Senator Ike Ikweremadu, has again raised the alarm over the worsening state of the nation, characterized by wanting destruction of lives and property, warning that the nation was fast falling apart and born into death. Ikweremadu, however, said that while the state of the nation was frightening, it was still redeemable. He spoke on Thursday at the 10th Synod of the Anglican Diocese of Humaya, themed, Let us rebuild and end this reproach. Delivering the Synod lecture entitled, The Role of Christian Politician in Nation Building, the Senator, who was represented by the National Publicity Secretary of Ohanese Indubu Worldwide, Honorable Halles Chidozie Obon, Obonia said the country was at crossroad and it was high time leaders and citizens urgently rescued the nation. Nigeria is burning literally and figuratively. Put even more appropriately, we are at the junction where we must rebuild or risk perishing. But God forbid that we perish. We have heard what Honorable Chidoze Obonia has said to the country that we are at the crossroad and it is as time our leaders and citizens need urgent rescue. Now, he said Nigeria is burning and literally, figuratively, we need to put more effort appropriately. If not, we are at the junction where we must rebuild or we risk perishing and nobody is ready to afford his life you know to, nobody's ready to die nobody wants to perish just because of nigeria nobody wants to perish so we pray that we will not perish in this we will all live and witness the new nigeria that is you know coming to emerge after all these issues are gone well let's move further and see what we have more about this issue on ground Senator Ikurimadu regretted that reports of bloodletting, masculine and kidnap for ransom had become the daily realities of Nigerians, adding hunger was on the increase because insecurity had dislodged Nigerians from their legitimate businesses and farms. Hunger has enveloped our land because farmers cannot go to their farms. They are either killing or raped by hand-bearing militias, as have their throats slit like rams, as we were witnessed in Zabamari village in Bono State. Just as we have heard that Senator Kwerimadu has regretted the report of bloodletting, kidnapping for ransom, mass killing, that has become a daily reality in Nigeria, including we have Hunger also has increased because this insecurity has dislodged Nigerians from their legitimate businesses and firms. People can no longer do their business with safe mind. People can no longer go to their place of work and having the rest of mind that as I am going, I am safe. People can no longer go to their firms to you know to farm the more and practice more agricultural you know activities because these bandits can come anytime and nobody is ready to you know die in this course they don't longer go to firms because they either are been killed or raped by unbearing militias or have their throats slit just like ram as we have witnessed in zabamari village in bono state we can see different things are happening in nigeria and people are not even safe going to their place of work going to their businesses and even going to the firms we hope the lord will just intervene in this matter because it is really getting out of hand well let's move further and see what we have more in the news the schools are no longer safe as they are turned to sports ground by bandits who kidnapped rape and kill while the lucky ones get ransomed the query madu equally observed that only socio-economic and political justice could effectively address the frustration and separatist tendencies and rhetoric 
across the nation. The country is as divided and disjoint as never in our history. Ethno-religious conflagration and killings at the slightest provocation have become a norm rather than exemption. Agitations fueled by palpable social and political injustice pervade the land and many parts now want us and want us out of the union than be slaves and second class citizens in the place that is supposed to be our fatherland. We cannot build or rebuild a nation in the absence of social, political and economic justice. How do you describe a situation where the Southeast, a part of Nigeria has a palpable double standard raised against them while open marginalization of the region has been raised to a state policy? We must show every part of the country a sense of justice because the truth is that a man who is unjustly treated will never be genuinely interested in peace. The shortest path to peace is justice, he stated. The lawmakers, however, said the situation was not irredeemable, urging the president, Muhammadu Buhari administration, to listen to voices and reason, decentralize the nation's policy system and seek help from more experienced and resourced nation to arrest the slides. This is not a time to apportion blames but a time to sober reflection. We must, as a country, take urgent steps to reclaim our land. The church and the Christian politicians should rise and stand in the gap. Every Nigerian must rise to defend our inheritance because no nation in the world can contain Nigeria. This administration must begin to listen, beginning to take urgent steps to decentralize policing to enable every constituent part take charge of the security of lives and property in its jurisdictions. This is the least and most immediate step we can do at the moment. In his charge, the Anglican Bishop of Umaya Diocese, retired Reverend Godfrey Obijuru Ibe Abuchi, called on the Christian faithful and all Nigerians to join hands to rebuild the nation through prayers and good work. We have heard what the Anglican Bishop has said that we Christians should call on God join our heads together to rebuild the nation through prayer and good works that is the only way we can go about this because things are really falling apart in nigeria and we hope the lord will just you know intervene and vindicate us out of this because this country is burning and the only thing we can do is to pray we would like to see your reaction on what has been said so far we'd like to know your thoughts on this thank you guys for listening do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.